Welcome friends, let's solve ty prime plus 2y equals t, and then y of 1 equals 2, a differential equation with an initial condition. So first of all, notice the following. We need to bring it into the appropriate form to divide every term by t. That's going to give us y prime is plus 2 over t at first, times the y is going to give us t divided by t, which is 1. And notice that t cannot be equal to 0. That's very important because that leads to division by 0. 2 over t has a vertical asymptote at t equals 0. It carries all the way over into the solution, we'll see eventually. So now let's do an integrating factor. That means mu of t, in other words, is e raised to the antiderivative of 2 over t dt. So carry that out. It's going to be e raised to the 2 antiderivative of 1 over t dt. That's going to be here e raised to the 2 and then ln of the absolute value of t, like that. But now remember that you can rearrange those, so it's going to be e to the ln of the absolute value of t times 2. But e to the ln of the absolute value of t is equivalent to just the absolute value of t. But then it's squared, which means it's then just t squared. If you don't believe me, just graph e to the 2 ln of t. Graph e to the ln absolute value of t times 2. Graph the absolute value of t squared, and then graph t squared. You'll see you'll get only one graph, which means they're all equivalent. Okay. So now multiply every term by the integrating factor. You're going to have t squared multiplying every term. So it's going to be times y prime plus t squared times 2 over ty. And this is 1 times t squared. Now simplify t squared y prime plus. So t squared divided by t is going to give you a t and then a 2y in its position, which normally we would just write as 2ty. And then 1 times t squared is t squared. On the left side, that expression is what you would get from doing the derivative using the product rule of just t squared y. You can check the derivative of t squared is 2t times the y plus the derivative of y is y prime times the remaining t squared. So the product rule. On the right side, you have just t squared. Now you continue and differentiate both sides. On the left side, that just isolates t squared y. But on the right side, we have the antiderivative of t squared dt plus the c. And then you can go t squared y is equal to antiderivative of t squared is t cubed over 3 by the power rule. Let's little c. Divide everything by t squared or multiply by 1 over t squared. However, it's just to imagine it. So imagine at first it says 1 over t squared. And then for, in brackets, let's do t cubed over 3 plus c for now. So now continue up here. Distribute the 1 over t squared. So y is the following t cubed over the t squared with the 3 multiplying it and then plus the c over the t squared this way so it's y is equal to t cubed divided by t squared is just t over 3 plus c over t squared and notice something really important here okay which is that t once again should not be equal to zero because that would give division by zero right we would have this term undefined so let's carry it over as i said from saying t does not equal to zero anyway now let's do the specific condition. Remember, y of 1 equals 2. In other words, it's a specific point object. That means t equals 1 and y equals 2. Plug it in as your data point to this equation to get c. So you're going to have 2 is equal to uh, 1 over 3 plus c over 1 squared at first. It's a plug in point. And you're going to have 2 is equal to 1 third and then plus c. Subtract. So 2 minus 1 third is equal to c. Pick up all the way back across the top. So it's going to be, you write the 2, so it shows a 3 in the bottom. That means it's going to be 6 over 3 minus 1 third is equal to C. 6 minus 1 is 5, so it's 5 thirds is equal to C. Now plug it into the equation. So Y would be equal to T th over 3 plus 5 thirds over T squared. And now we have to come and analyze a very subtle point, which is the following. Look at the solution graph. Okay, so you understand things. It's going to be t over 3 plus 5 thirds over t squared. So when you put this in here, look what happens. The point of relevance is the following. Graph this dot at 1 comma 2. Our solution goes through that point. It's the one on the right side. Once again, we do not divide by 0, which means this second piece of the graph, that can never be reached because t equals 0 is a vertical asymptote. There's no way the piece from the right side can cross the vertical asymptote and somehow get in touch with the piece on the left side. Doesn't happen with vertical asymptotes. It's the nature of a vertical asymptote. Therefore, we would say that this is like invalid. Don't use that piece. Therefore, we would say the solution is y equals t over 3 plus 5 thirds over t squared with the 
condition that t is greater than zero. This is even like 